Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about a lot of theories, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So you guys have sent in a bunch of questions, and we're going to be going through some of them. And now, all these questions are from The Flash, right? I chose them specifically, and you guys can get your questions featured in a video if you go over to the community tab right now and comment whatever you think is interesting, and the most interesting ones will obviously be included in a future video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into some of these questions. And it's a lot about the future of The Flash, and it's obviously to do with the 150th episode, the finale, and how this season is going to end. So obviously, these questions are very related, and I thought they would make a good video altogether. So the first question comes from Spoiler Free on YouTube, who asks, Is Godspeed from the future? Is he August Hart? And is he... Eddie Thorne. So this is like three questions all in one, but it all links together. So I think the question of is Godspeed from the future, we've all kind of assumed that he is, right? Because somehow Nora and also Bart Allen are linked up in this and they are from the future. So it would make a lot of sense if they come back because they know of Godspeed's threat and maybe they are fighting him in the future. I have a question on that in a minute. So with them coming back, I think it makes most sense that at least the main Godspeed is from the future and he's time traveled back in time and he's trying to get the Flash at the peak of his powers so he can get that infinite velocity and that's why he is creating these Speed Force clones of himself to try and take down Barry and Team Flash. And so obviously if there wasn't Nora, if there wasn't Bart, you know, I don't think there is a good reason for why Godspeed would be from the future. Apart from, we've had villains like Savitar before, who is from the future, and a lot of times, the speedster villains are somehow linked to Barry's future, past or present. So, there is some sort of link, and, you know, they do have the ability to time travel. Godspeed can definitely time travel if he has Speed Force powers, which he definitely does. So, I think there is a lot of reason to believe that he is from the future. And so is he August Hart? Is he Eddie Thorne? I have no idea. I think he may be a version of August Hart. He is definitely being recast. I know that for a fact. I don't know if they're going to go by the name of August Hart like Godspeed is in the comics, but we'll have to wait and see. So another question that links up to this is, is the Godspeed War from the future? So in terms of this, I guess what it means is like, did the war come back from the future to the present and that's how like Bart and Nora have been chasing and tracking down Godspeed and end up in the 150th episode taking him down in the present. So was it initially set up in the future? And that's where you had the Godspeed war initially happening. And that's why they're calling it a war because in four episodes, I don't know if it's enough to call it a war. So maybe there is a greater backstory to this big fight that's going on between Godspeed and, you know, the Flashes. It doesn't necessarily have to be Barry Allen because you have, you know, Barry's kids fighting against Godspeed. You have Jay Garrick fighting against Godspeed. It's like a whole Flash family war against Godspeed, obviously protecting the central city and, you know, anywhere else he attacks. So I think this is a very good question and I think that the Godspeed war might have been set off in the future, especially if the real Godspeed is from the future. So let's move on to the next question and this is this. Will Nora be Dawn Allen instead? Will she not be Excess? So, it's been noted in the synopsis that Excess is the only name that's been said, and there is no mention of Nora. So, with that, and with the last time we saw Nora being erased from the actual timeline, is there a chance that Nora is actually not her normal self that we saw in Season 5? And I think that is a high possibility that there has been some big changes, like 100% there's going to be some changes, but a big change would be her name changing to something like Dawn Allen, which is obviously what people theorized she was at first when she appeared in season four and then, you know, later appeared in season five, but she revealed her name was Nora, named after Barry's mum. And so with them only mentioning excess in the synopsis, I would say there is the chance, considering that she's going to be different from what we've known before, that her name could be changed and also there is a chance that she might be like part of the tornado twins and maybe Bart and Nora or Dawn or whatever she's going to be called are going to be twins in the future that never happened in that timeline where where our normal Nora existed 
And it must be mentioned that in a past episode, Reverse Flash did mention when he met Nora, he tried to guess her name and he said Dawn. So maybe they're going full circle on that, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, now let's move on to the next question. When will the Flash discover the new multiverse? So I guess this can be taken generally, like when does the whole Arrowverse officially find out about the expansion of the multiverse? found in these new Earths after Crisis on Infinite Earths because everyone thinks, oh, all the Earths have either been destroyed or they've been merged into Earth Prime and that's where we have our main shows and that was like the whole big thing with Crisis is the Earths merged and, you know, some were destroyed. But along with this, we the fans, we the audience were told about the expansion of the multiverse, the fact that there's new Earths out there, like there is a new version of Earth 2 where Stargo is, we know that there is a Titans Earth, there is lots of different things and obviously the DCEU officially exists inside the Arrowverse in the multiverse somewhere. However, you know, our characters haven't found out about this so when is the Flash or anyone else going to find out about the multiverse? Well, I think it's going to happen pretty soon. I've got a feeling it's going to happen at the start of Season 8 because we are having the 5 episode crossover arc. We've explained why this is happening, basically they're starting late in November. For episode 1, even though they're filming back in like July or sometime around there, they're gonna have these episodes in the bag, and they're gonna film them, and basically they're gonna have a break in December and so they didn't want to start like a whole big story. Anyway, so the point of my answer is this, I think with those crossover episodes you're gonna see Stargirl show up, you're gonna see these characters from other Earths, but I'm gonna specifically pinpoint in on Stargirl because we know she is definitely from Earth 2, and with her presumably coming over to Earth Prime, she is definitely going to tell Barry about, like, oh snap, this is not my Earth, like, what am I doing here? Kind of like when Barry first went over to Supergirl's Earth in Supergirl Season 1. So I think, yes, Barry's gonna find out about the multiverse, that means probably the rest of the heroes will find out about the multiverse at the start of the Flash Season 8. Okay, let's move on to the next question. This comes from Chosen Vader Owner on YouTube, who asks, Do you think Barry will become Future Flash in the final season? So, this is a good question, and this is something that we've theorized about for the longest time, right? Because the key point in the Flash's history has always been the night where Nora Allen was killed by Reverse Flash. And every time we see that version of reality, we see this Future Flash who always appear, we call him Original Timeline Flash. And we've been theorizing about this for many years, that at one point, this guy is gonna show up, this version of Barry, who is kind of infamous at this point. I mean, when that happens, and if it does happen, that will be huge. So, I think Barry will become Future Flash, probably in the final season, so I think you are right there, Chosen Vader. I think by the end of The Flash, they're probably going to go full circle on that night because they've been teasing it so much and it's such an important part of Barry's history and the Flash as a whole. So yeah, definitely we're going to see him at some point. It would make complete sense and I think the final season would be the one to do. Obviously, we don't know when the Flash is ending, but I don't think it's going to end like in the next few years at least. So we've got a while off, but I think maybe we will see that original timeline future Flash. Okay, so this comes from Spoiler Free again, and he asks, Do you think we already met slash no Godspeed? So, this is the idea that we've met a character who will become Godspeed, even though we don't know. So it's like one of those mystery things like back in Season 2, when you had Jay Garrick, who was actually Hunter Solomon, or Eobard Thorne was actually Harrison Wells in disguise. So, we've had many instances where we've known the person, but we didn't know they were the villain all this time. So I think with Godspeed, this would be fantastic if it was something like that, because those mysteries are always the best. However, I don't think it's as likely, because we only have four episodes, and Eric Wallace has teased that maybe the Godspeed stuff is going to continue onto next season, because he says the finale of the season isn't the end of Chapter 4, aka, you know, the last graphic novel of this season. He put episode 15 to question mark in a tweet, talked about this briefly yesterday, 
but with that, maybe Godspeed continues and you have Bart Allen sticking around for like at least the first couple of episodes before Jordan Fisher has to go away in September to do a Broadway show. So there's not much time really if they do want to cap off the Godspeed stuff in episode 18, aka the finale. So I don't think it's super likely. However, it's a very good question and I would like it to happen, but we'll wait and see. Alright, so another question, do you think that Impulse will stay for a long time, like one season or just a few episodes? So we did kind of briefly touch upon this a couple of times before, however I think Impulse, because like I just said Jordan Fisher is going away and he's going to be in New York playing on a show on Broadway and so he's going to be there in September for god knows how long. So I think what's going to happen is he's going to stick around in Vancouver and he's going to film at least for the first like two three episodes at the start of the season and then by the time of like late august he's gonna leave he's gonna go back to new york and he's gonna go away and so i think maybe a couple more episodes beyond the 150th episode in the finale which he's been confirmed to show up in so good question and i don't think he's gonna be like a series regular that's just my answer for that okay so the final question of the video is this do you think that godspeed is related to the forces now, I think this is very relevant in terms of what we have just found out because we know that Dion Owens, aka the Still Force, is going to be returning. And this is obviously like a one episode thing. However, why the hell is he back? Because they supposedly wrapped up the Forces storyline and this makes it a big deal if he's coming back because maybe somehow Godspeed is linked to the Forces. And obviously with him wanting infinite velocity being heavily linked to the Speed Force, maybe the Forces do want to intervene to try and sort of balance out what's happening with Godspeed trying to steal like the entirety of the Speed Force. So maybe somehow Dion is linked into that. So I guess that is a way that Godspeed could be involved with the forces. I don't think he's working like in cahoots with the forces. I think that is super, super unlikely. However, there is definitely some sort of link with Dion returning and I'm interested to see how that actually goes down. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to give it a like. Also, leave a comment below. Also, go over to the community tab if you want to have your question featured in one of these videos and I'll be sure to do it if it's a very interesting question. Also subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any videos. But for now, click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.